Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we are going to look at how you can sort data horizontally in Excel. Now, most of you watching this are probably familiar with sorting in Excel, but normally we're sorting uh, stuff that's in a list and our data is coming down in columns vertically. And Excel likes that, it appreciates it. There's lots of quick ways of dealing with it. But can you sort Excel data that's along rows? Like I've got in a moment with my names and my numbers in row three and four. Well, yes, you can. But the process is a tiny little like, bit different to how you may do it already with typical lists of columns. So what I'm going to have to do here is highlight the entire table of data, but not the headers. Do not select the header cells. I'm then going to click on my data tab and my sort button. So that I open up the main sort dialog box. You may get access to this a different way. Now, what I want to do is I want to click on this options button above. You see by default how it assumes my data is in columns. If I drag my dialog box out of the way, see it checks the box for my data has headers and it's assuming the names are headers. But I want to sort it alphabetically by name. I want my name, Alan, at the start and then what would be next, Claire, I think, oh no, sorry, Betty would be next and then Claire would be next and so on. So I'm going to click on this options button and in here, sort left to right, not top to bottom. When I click on OK, it removes the knowledge of headers. That's why I did not highlight them to begin with. That's why I didn't want them highlighted. Our data does not have headers. Excel can't handle that. I make sure it's sorting it by values, A to Z. I can choose what column to sort, sorry, what row to sort it by. And I'm going to choose row three here. Uh, no headers, so we have to refer to it as row number as opposed to name and number. Uh, row 3, values A to Z, please. Click OK, and I have now sorted my entire table. These numbers moved as well, but by, you know, ascending A to Z by name. So we now have Alan, Betty, Claire, etc. And that is how you can sort your tables horizontally if you have data kind of transposed on the side here, as opposed to the normal tabular layout where your data's in columns. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.